Hey everybody, how's everyone doing tonight? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing fantastic. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, I just started doing these kind of reaction videos and this is my first one. So it's going to be pretty rough. Um, <laughs> please excuse any badness that is contained therein. Did I say that right? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, these will get better as we, as we go along. Don't you worry. So I'm going to shut up, let the thing go. And uh, if you guys want to see any more of these uh, live streams, um, you know, Q&A things, reaction videos, let me know. I did not realize how much fun I was going to have, and I just absolutely loved it. And thank you to uh, Geek Boy, my new YouTube manager. He's the one that suggested I do one of these. And I was never probably going to do any of these, but here we go. Let's go ahead. This is the Q&A that they did recently with the devs. And uh, here's my thoughts, and and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. A joke of a roadmap. When are you merging fresh starts so they're not all dead? Nothing about mounts? What about daggers? What are we doing, devs? What are we doing, devs? <laughs> Volume good, guys? Hi everybody, welcome to Forged in Eternum where we talk about all things New World. Today, we're gonna do this episode focused on community questions and we think the timing is great because we just released the December better? dev update. Keep going down. And uh, there's a lot of doozies out there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have uh, help from Mr. Lovin. Is that good, Tater? Turn it up or down more? Okay. And he is going to ask us some questions and we're going to do our best to answer them and control our sorrow and sadness if they're too hard. What a joke of a roadmap. What do you guys have? Part-time <laughs> employees? This should all be three months, not six, and no PVP content? Unbelievable. Okay. Um, I will start with the part-time employees. We do not have part-time employees. Well, I mean, there's probably some, but overall our That's team is... Uh, full-time. We, we're full-time and we have the same number, actually a few more... Uh, on our 2023 team than we did in 2022. Our second year has a few more people than our first year. Uh, so you can expect to see as much or more content and more features coming in this year as we had last year. So I'm just gonna stop right there and say, um, my opinion, I have i don't know if I've ever played a game where the devs have honestly given us so much information um, uh, I know, definitely a hard question. I don't, I've never played a game where the devs are this involved with the community. I'm going to be honest. Have you guys, are there any other games that you've played where they take the time to do this? They take the time to do, like we, we challenged them. The community challenged these guys to run Merc Guard with a group of 10 people and they actually did it and, and made a video. And it was one of the coolest things that I've ever seen a, a developer do, to be honest. You know, they, um, if the content's too hard, you know, and we say, hey, we, you know, you guys try it. They did. And just the fact that they're doing these roadmaps, um, whether it's three months, six months, is that what they said? Like the roadmap is too long, like six months down the road. I, I really don't care. You know, I'm on, I'm on their side with this one, I guess you can say, you know, so to speak. But I think they're doing a great job with the, um, uh, just the amount of communication, um, the transparency, you know, in the beginning they were slipping all these, you know, ninja nerfs and, and changes without putting them in the, uh, the patch notes. And I mean, some still get by, you know, but I think they're doing a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going. What do you guys think? A game since EverQuest 1 and no, there has not been this much involvement. Absolutely. Snar snark? Snarkalina. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Across a ton of, how do I put my uh, my chat up on the screen? Can I do that? I mean, I guess I could just kind of do that. That looks bad. We got to figure that out. We got to figure that out. Be able to maybe adjust the opacity. And a six month roadmap for a video game seems reasonable. I think so too, Tater. Totally. Very important. Um, well, that well, that also ties into the first statement of what a joke of a road. Oh, and really quick, Dave is my new favorite when it comes to these devs. He's so funny. On the last uh, dev discussion video, he <laughs> he like didn't know what he was talking about, like uh, some of the details, and then Katie just like covers her face up and she just starts laughing, and then he he's like. 
they start talking about something else and then Dave says, oh wait, I remember now. And it was like one of the funniest moments I've ever seen on one of these dev discussions. So anyway. Map, like we don't put everything on the roadmap that we share because some of the stuff we'll be able to get sooner. Some things, you know, we have planned, <laughs> yes, but we're not ready absolutely. to share them yet. So not everything is on there. We've mentioned some really key features, but there's a lot more there. Yeah, these are the ones we have super high confidence in and that we're ready to make a commitment to. And, and full disclosure, I mean, last year we had really high confidence in the roadmap and we had one of the items slip out, leaderboards, which will, um, which are now scheduled for, I think, February? Yeah. So they're coming before, up soon. Before the, the next major. Yeah, before the next major release. Release, yeah. Um, what was the rest of the question? Did we answer all? <laughs> no PVP content, nope. unbelievable. <laughs> Um, we definitely have PVP content. Do you want to talk a little about that? Yeah, I think, like Scott said, so this only contains the stuff we have super high confidence on. Uh, one of the things Dan and I have talked about is, you know, the influence game and how we're going to be making some changes to that. I got to get one of those sweatshirts, man. I want one of those so bad. I think that's really going to spice it up the open world PVP because I think people are super excited about that part. And, uh, Having read through a lot of the questions, I'm sure that OPR will come up and we can talk about them. <laughs> that. If it, if it doesn't, we'll ask it ourselves at the end. What about daggers? What are we doing, devs? Yeah, that is All right. What? That, that is a good question because people have been wanting a new weapon. I mean, the greatsword did just come out. I think um, as far as weapons coming out and stuff, I think they're also doing a pretty good job. I mean, you know, uh, again, people assume that Amazon Game Studios is this huge, you know, just like Amazon themselves, but it's not. I think they are still a somewhat, not an indie company, but definitely not a huge, you know, like uh, like Blizzard or anything. I don't think they're on that level. So I think the uh, the amount of weapons and, and weapon updates that they're doing has been pretty reasonable also. Um, but let's hear what they say about the daggers, because I do want to know. This is a great question. I've been I've been wondering about this myself. What are we doing, devs? <laughs> Uh, an often asked question. So weapons are really hard. I just want to state that up front. Mm -hmm. We got to get the balance right. So we didn't feel comfortable committing to a date or what the specific weapon is. What I will say is that it will likely not be daggers. Uh, we are what? looking into, I think we need another focus weapon is something we've been talking about. <gasps> no way. So I'm so glad you guys talked me into doing this. I. Oh, okay. We're going to shut up and listen. Uh, we want to complement that sort of healing, buffing, sort of support class a little more. So the most Thank likely you, next weapon love. will be around focus, and we're just not ready to commit to a date on it yet. You know, adding a weapon to New World is adding a class to other MMOs. Yeah. So it's a big mm -hmm. change. It can change. It has. It is a huge change. And something I bring up all the time, people are like, they, they don't know what they're doing with balancing. The game's still not balanced. Guys, I think, and you can agree or disagree. I think that, um, I, I think of League of Legends. League of Legends has been around, how long guys? Years, years, more than five or six years. It's been out a long time and they are still doing, I haven't played it in six, seven, eight months, but I know when I was playing it, they were still up to this point doing balancing updates like every week or every, every two weeks or every three weeks because it is a never uh, ending you know, job, it's it's always gonna need tweaking. You know, you add something new and they're right, they're right. When you add a new weapon, it's a whole new class and, and I'm glad they don't just jump the gun and just start adding all these new weapons and create this big fucking mess, or excuse my language, just, sorry kids, um, my, my babies watch this stuff. So sorry, Gavin, Lily, Jackie, and Mina, when you get old enough, I'm sorry too. But uh, anyway, daddy's gonna try to quit cussing. Um, yeah, it's a big undertaking and, and if they just kept, you know, if they just kept throwing these weapons in, it would be a mess. It would be a nightmare. I'd rather they go slow and attempt to get it right rather than botch the entire release. Absolutely, Snarkalina. I totally agree. Um, Night UK, yeah, first three months was rough. They were trying to go too fast. Absolutely. And, and I think the approach they're taking now, making sure it's more polished, I mean, no matter what they do, and, and these guys are doing a great job, I think, and, and most of the stuff, no matter what they do, you know, if they release the stuff we wanted right then and there, it would keep some people happy, but then half the people would be like, no, it's all messed up. You guys got to take your time. When they do take their time, you know, um, everybody's like, it's, you know, we want new content. We not want new content. Where is it at? So, you know, they got to find that balance. And I think they're doing, you know, okay. 
Tater, yes, so many problems from them going too fast. It is unfortunate. Everyone is mad, no matter what. It is. And still, a, a year later, this is still a new game, you know? And if you look, if you take a look at where the game was a year ago, and then, you know, a snapshot of that, and then where they're at right now, I mean, how could people even be mad? You know, it's gotten so much better. And yes, I am definitely a New World fanboy. I am. I love this game. I always have. And uh, but at the same time, I think I take a somewhat realistic approach to all this stuff. You know, they can only do so much and they're not they can't make everybody happy. So we'll keep going. So many other effects and we, we just got the great sword out there and we want to let that get in the wild yep. and let them kind of meta settle in and then figure yep. out where that's going to land. So we we are working on the next item. But we're not ready to say what it is or what oh, it's you asshole. And then specific to daggers. <laughs> just kidding. That's still part of the conversation. Like this is not something that we're just like, it's not the next weapon, we're not talking about yeah, it. Yeah, daggers it's are still part something of the, the community wants. And Nothing these guys about do mounts? a good job giving us what we want. Well, really mounts are another very, very big feature. And uh I can tell people that we are working on mounts, but we are nowhere near ready to commit to like when they're gonna be done. Um yeah, just the fact that they said they're coming, just the fact that they said daggers are eventually coming, that they know it's it's something that we want. I'm comfortable knowing that they're going to be giving us this stuff. I mean, it's just a matter of time. And again, I don't expect everything to be given to us right away. It would just it would ruin the game if they gave us everything at once. You know, you, do you want a unfinished half-ass product now, or do you want to wait and have something really good? You know, people just everybody instant gratification they want everything right now like a bunch of kids you know <clears throat> mounts are super important in your world. we we hear it, we get it the good news is traveling through the world feels really good right now so i don't think mounts are critical oh for God, that yes, but i will. think they are critical They'll as the world gets bigger and as just another thing to accessorize yeah. and kind of show off your you know your to give players more agency yeah it's going to be there's probably going to be a trade skill around it like you know yeah an ability to progress and grow something new. Yeah. That's so awesome. when are you merging fresh have... starts so they're not all So they're 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 not just gonna um give us mounts that you can just pick up and ride. I there like he said there's gonna be a progression system it sounds like. Um is that what you guys are getting from it? We're gonna be able to maybe level up their abilities maybe, increase the move speed. Um if they have skins that it's it's gonna be a really cool thing. I don't think it's gonna be on the same level as um, Ashes of Creation, where they're actually going to, the mounts are going to have all these different abilities and they're going to um, scale with, with progression and you're going to be able to actually put armor, not just skins, but armor on your mounts. And there's going to be animal husbandry where you can like breed and it's going to be crazy. So that's, this game is not going to be on that level, but I don't think it's going to be a simple, you know, give us mounts, we can ride them and that's it. I think they're going to, it sounds like they're going to have like a progression thing. Yeah, trade skill, like maybe, um, you know, raising a horse and, um, you know, what's it called? Equine or something? I don't know. But anyway, equine, isn't that the scientific name for Santa? I need more a Visa Amazon gift cards. No shit. <laughs> hey, Avin, what's up, buddy? Just um, everybody. That's my friend, Avin. He is, well, he's Avin. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Hi, Avin. Love you, man. Dead. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Let me let me see what they said. My bad. Progress and grow something new. Yeah. So when are you merging fresh starts so they're not all dead? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So <laughs> we have plans to merge fresh start worlds for sure, um, and we are constantly every week looking at I'm opportunities to merge servers if we notice that some aren't, aren't doing as well as others. Um, we do want to take into consideration, um, you know, Fresh Start Worlds are supposed to be these kind of pristine new worlds. Um, so we you, need Avin. to make sure that we're, we're being very conscious you, about it, our decisions with it. But there are definitely merges coming for Fresh Start Worlds. With the upcoming transmog, will we be able to dye skins? So for anybody that doesn't know, they were going to merge um, the return to Eternum Fresh Start servers with legacy servers, which they said they were never going to do, um, but they decided to push that back, and I guess they're going to think about it a little more. I'm going to keep my eyes on the forums and, and keep you guys updated. So just wanted to let you know really quick. Uh, they were going to merge them, and everybody made a big you know stink about it. So 
Yeah. So with the upcoming transmog, we'll be able to dye skins. Yes. Excellent news. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's going to be cool. awesome. I, don't, I mean, I can elaborate, but I don't know what the point would be. So. Uh, well, in my that opinion, awesome. you guys should get rid of the 10 difficulties of mutations and instead only have four. I don't think uh, so. I agree. Uh, I, I think, think so. I we like have too many levels of mutations and it makes finding groups hard. Uh, we are looking into squashing them. Uh, to sort of make matchmaking easier to happen. Uh, we're not ready to yeah, commit on a date, but we're definitely looking into that, and it is going to happen. Uh, let's let and There are other changes that we're looking at longer term that, like, for things like this, the timing is really important. Yeah. So there's, a, you'd rather bottle up two or three things that are going to have a, that, oh. that can all kind of be changed at the same time and make a lot of sense. Interesting. 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 I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what might we want to bottle that up with? That's, yeah. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to. And so uh, I just wanted to qu say a quick thing. I think I think 10, maybe 10 is a little excessive. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I mean, things can always be updated and made a little bit better than what they are, but I'm okay with 10. Uh, that's just my thoughts. I'm not, I don't really have a huge stance on that one. What do you guys think about the four? Do you think that's too, I don't, I think that's too little, you know, you, eight maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think eight would be a pretty solid number too, Tater. Absolutely. Anybody else or keep going? We're going to keep rolling. Like one through three, four through six, seven and nine can be compressed with 10 being proper difficult. Right? That's not a bad idea, Knight. And Snarkalina, I have not ventured into mutations yet. Um, they're a lot of fun and they're very difficult. I think it's a great part of the game. And I think the current system is pretty good. You know, it can be better, but I think four is a little too low. You said leaderboards are coming in February? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. And so once again, I do want to apologize. That should have been, uh, I left that out of the roadmap and that was a miss on my part because it was in last year's and we right, kind Scott. of thought we had communicated mistakes. it, but I don't think I did a very good job there, so. So what's with the September part of the roadmap? Are you keeping that for the Game Awards, a new expansion, weapon? Because this is not much content. Ooh, good question. Good question. We didn't, we're not comfortable talking about September yet because that's it's, way, it's so far in the future and we have a lot of big things that might land there and they might not. And the last thing we want to do is come out here and say, we're going to have something on the roadmap which missed. Um, like I mentioned with leaderboards. I haven't even was, done 10 yet tonight. We're, we're not happy about that. I think we're going to have a lot more to share on September as we get, you know, five, six months into, into 2023, we're going to be able to give you a lot more insight into what September and December look like. Wish they dropped the development around Sorry. seasonal events and just focus on the game. I disagree. Yeah, I think what this one's trying to say is put more features in and take people off seasons. And the thing is, um, I disagree. It's, I it's different. Like, it's different groups of people who build seasons. Seasons are built by our content team. Um, so it's not like we could say we're not going to do seasons and we'll pull OPR, cross world OPR, in by six months or anything like that. It's a very it's a, it, the reason. I think I think seasons uh, events are really important. I think they add a lot of fun. They break up the monotony. And if if they didn't have those seasonal events, we wouldn't be doing this stuff right now. You know, the Glee Might showers, which I absolutely love. Um, I think seasonal events are definitely a, a good um, a good move. And I want to see more. I definitely want to see more. It it gives you time to have some fun. Um, it's a it's a smaller update that they can pump out pretty quickly depending on what season it is and and I love them I absolutely love them. I think I, I think they're much needed. What do you guys think? Snarkalina you love them, too. Yeah, absolutely. It's the snow the Halloween thing even even the small You know Halloween event. It wasn't that big, but it was still exciting. We still got to fight a new boss It's it's content. It's new content that you know, we get to enjoy what I don't see I don't see that really that point being very um, well I don't know I just disagree I just disagree we'll just keep it at that <clears throat> night UK love events and music change like old-fashioned take on Christmas carols yeah it is pretty cool I like the music I like the atmosphere um, and then when it's gone you miss it you know it's like okay now we're back in Windsor there's no more Christmas trees um, no more Gleamite showers you know that's that's gonna be a sad day when I'm not getting my ass knocked down by the Gleamite showers some things are timed where they are. If you look at gear set storage, transmog, and cross world OPR, it hits the same people who have very specialized skill sets. And, you know, 
it's unfortunately got to be serialized a little bit. And the nice thing about those seasonal events is once we have them done, once we have the base, right, in the future we can just make incremental, incremental adjustments yeah. and it, it's not as costly. So we get a lot of future value out of them. Well, and also, like, we get a lot of feedback on the first one and then when we're changing it, we don't have to build something from scratch again. We can actually say, oh, players want us to do this or they want us to do this and we can definitely make some improvements there. Yeah, yes, so when you can. see yes, on the roadmap that we have an event that you've already seen before, you can make an assumption that we've made some adjustments since the last time you saw it. They might not be huge, but we've made some, but that's giving us time to work on those other items that you so deeply want and we want yeah. for you. Forged in a tournament, what's the deal? I was just talking about that earlier, like, you know, not much has really changed, but it's still nice to have the, the winter event. They added a new boss, you know, I'm okay with that. And yeah, they get to, I guess, kind of a copy paste thing, you know, just copy the old winter convergence, paste it right in. The players get something new. It's a Christmas thing. We added a couple of things, but this gives them more time, like they just said, to work on other stuff. Why are they putting the questions in that format? <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> That's like me just, what I'm going to do with this video is just cutting out, you know, these little things. I'm actually going to take your guys' comments and your questions, and I'm gonna have them like come in, like, you know, fade in and then fade out and stuff. Um, guys, what the hell is this? This is like, this is like my, my Be Right Back or Starting Soon stream uh, notice that I did with uh, Microsoft Paint. That is so funny. Yeah, no pet, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's all right. They're special. Well, is this going to replace dev updates? No. <laughs> she said what she said. Wait a second. No, let, me, let me go back to that. Want and we want for you. Forged in a turnum, what's the deal? Is this going to replace dev updates? No. 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 Good answer, Katie. <laughs> she said what she said. No, absolutely not. Uh, we think the dev updates are important. They These know. are nice supplemental conversations. And it, it, mm -hmm. the, the, one of the goals I is like. to kind of share with the community some of the discussions we have internally and give a little yeah. more look behind the curtain of game development. I think it's great. I mean, you know, as you're watching these, like we do read the comments, which like you said, we're answering some here today. If you want some changes to Forge and Eternum to the format or anything, let us know. Like we're open to that for sure. Yeah, they're they're very different things that clicked, we're giving so players with really these. Quick. And I'm gonna go back. With Forged versus the dev updates. It's good <clears> to call out that Forged has like a bunch of different topics we're gonna to cover from really deep development topics to very light, like the lore one, very light, you know, kind of jovial topics because we're just excited to get their information. We wanna, we want, we're more excited about the community question than, you know, whatever you jokers are talking about, just kidding. Um, but the dev updates, I wanna, I want it to be very clear because they were coming out like every month and we're, we're not doing that part of it anymore. So we can't confirm we're gonna have a dev update every month. We're gonna try to do them as often as possible. Um, but the Forged in Eternum will kind of be that, what you can see in the inner rim between those now. videos Screw that gives you an insight into the Sorry, team. Sorry, Dave. So. Yeah, I think one of the reasons that, that we want to not do the dev updates every month is we hear the Maybe feedback can... that we're telling you stuff you already know. So we're trying to use the dev updates to tell you there things you don't. Know. I mean, some people may not down. may know some of the stuff, but we're trying to use it as more, Oops. here's some new information for you, like the roadmap in the last one. All right, and um, last one I have here is new OPR mm -hmm. arena maps is what I was hoping for. So we've talked a lot about a new map uh, for OPR, okay. and to be honest, there's, there's a divide, right? Like there's some value in adding that, but it also splits groups, it, it changes matchmaking, how do we decide which map we go on? So uh, we're still talking about, but we don't have that planned in the near future. Uh, but we do want to refresh OPR a little bit, and I think you know we have Cross World OPR coming out. Uh, it was on the roadmap. It that's wouldn't surprise me if we did you know some improvements, some tuning, and a little bit of a light revamp on OPR when we release Cross World. This would be a great question to the community, actually. Yeah. If we were going to make some adjustments to OPR, what would you like to see? Yeah. A new map. Is that your community question? That's my community a question. A new map. Okay, great. Nice. Close this out. Awesome. Well. Thanks for joining us this time on Forged in the Turnum. Yeah, you heard the community. What do you guys think about a uh, uh, new map, 100%? Jay Duncan, absolutely. A new map would be enough for me. <laughs> Snarkalina agrees, absolutely. Objective driven Castle Siege, Night UK. Yes, sir. That'd be awesome. Castles, baby. Let's go. Ashes of Creation is going to have some castles. Let's get some castles in New World PvP. Question What changes would you like to see us make to our? 
current OPR. We'd love to hear those. Again, if you like the show, let us know by subscribing or following. It really uh, helps us know that we should keep doing these. And otherwise, we will see you in a turnum. Get subscribed up. So, oh, oh, we got a... Hey, everybody. Sorry to break in here and uh, interrupt the end of this. But after watching back the video, I realized that we didn't cover some of the major elements that we're engaged in. It's all right, man. So our goal is to periodically deliver major content drops, ideally annually. Bridgestone that we just released was an example of how we think about those major updates. And I wanted to let Bridgestone you know we're working amazing. on another one of those for next year as well. Hell yeah. I just am not ready to get into the specifics. or. So that right there is going to be pretty badass. I mean, if it's anywhere on the same level as the Brimstone update, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, I'm pretty excited. For the timeline yet, because we don't have enough information to where I can say that with any confidence. Um, but I did want to let you know that we are working toward that and we have significant resources aimed at it. Anyway, that's it. I'm sorry for breaking in. And thanks again for watching the video. Awesome. So there's definitely uh, going to be some good stuff coming up in the future. Uh, Brimstone, I thought with Brimstone was amazing. Not just because I was able to pump out a lot of content, but it was, you know, it's a whole new world, you know, it's like a whole new game. So that's it, guys. You guys have any last thoughts before I close this out? We're going to get back to the um, uh, winter convergence thing and uh, do a little more of that. But thank you, Tater, and uh, thank you, Geek Boy. I wouldn't have done this unless um, Geek Boy had mentioned this, so... That was a great idea. I had a lot of fun doing this actually, and I can't wait to do it again. I would do one on the dev discussion video, but that would be so long. I just, you know, maybe we can break it up. So we'll talk about that. And yeah, yeah, I'll change my title back. Um, yeah, yeah, the dev videos are great. And I th would you guys like to see me do like a, a, a reaction video and just maybe cut it up or something or shorten it a little bit and just skip to the good parts and, and uh, you know, doing that? You're welcome, Snarkalina. Live React is dope. Hell yeah, I had fun. I had fun. It, I like doing this format a lot better than um, doing the you know the video. My my thoughts. I like the interaction with you guys, and I like to be able to just pause it, have my thoughts that I have right there, and just be able to get them out, get them out, you know, on the on spontaneously. I guess you could say. <laughs>